All right, welcome back. So today I was going to upload some kind of a product review, um, but I'm not gonna do that today. There's been too much going on this past week that I feel like I'll break up my updates to and to today and then on Monday because I've been to the hospital three different times this past week. We got some concerning news about the bullies and um, I've been like having some symptoms of my own and I'm having a contraction right now. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you can notice, but that is the contraction. I don't even know if you can see that. It's really, really tight and uncomfortable. Not a labor contraction, just Braxton Hicks, but oh, these make me feel like I have to pee really bad and they like radiate into my back. Anyway, so it's Thursday now when I'm videoing this and this past week on Sunday, I went into the hospital. I uploaded a video into labor and delivery because I was having so many Braxton Hicks contractions, like 10 in an hour I ended up having and Turns out that I just had overdone it that day. The doctor said that pain and exhaustion and dehydration can all lead to those contractions. So he told me what to do. Just lay down, drink a lot of water. I can take Tylenol, use a heat pack to relieve some of the pressure. But um, that ended up all being fine. And then on Tuesday, I had three back-to-back appointments. I had a doctor's appointment, a two-hour ultrasound, and then the diabetes screen. So the way it works is uh, as you head into your third trimester, you have a screen where if you test positive or your levels are elevated, you have to then go in for the full-fledged diagnostic glucose test. Um, so to see if you have gestational diabetes. So we went, you know, I went to the doctor and then I went in for the ultrasound. That's when we got some news about the boys. I'll share with you on Monday that we don't know what to make of it yet, but a little bit concerning. Um, and then mm, I had to wait for the results of my glucose or my diabetes screen to come back until Wednesday morning. And when I woke up Wednesday morning, I saw that my levels were elevated and looked like I might have diabetes. So I had to go in to get the full um, three hour test where you had to fast for eight to 10 hours beforehand. Oh, my heartburn. Heartburn is so bad. Um, we had to fast for eight to 10 hours before you go in and then you can't eat for the full three hour test. So mm, I went in, hadn't eaten, got there around like 11. I just wanted to get this test over with. I didn't want to wait another day because I wanted to know if I had diabetes or not. And um, they draw your blood first to get a level of like how you're doing pre sugary drink. Then you drink the sugary drink and then every hour you go back, they draw your blood and you can't eat in between. So in that first hour after I drank the drink, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be terrible. I am in so much pain sitting in the waiting room. Like I have come so far with improving my back pain, going to the chiropractor and having the massages every week and just relaxing my back. But sitting in those uncomfortable uh, waiting room chairs was just terrible. And my feet were getting really swollen. Like I looked down at my little sausage toes and my feet were purple and everything was puffy. And I was like, oh my gosh, if I have to sit here for three hours, I think I might like explode. <laughs> I'm going to get so swollen. I'm going to be in so much pain. I'm going to be a miserable somebody for the next three hours. So um, that first hour where I waited was really terrible. But then when I went back to get my blood drawn the second time, I asked the girl who did it, 
Um, like, you don't by any chance have a place where I can lay down, do you? Because of all the reasons I just said. And she said, yeah, we do, actually. And I couldn't believe it. So, for the whole rest of the test, I got to go back in their back comfy area. First, this, she put me on a recliner where I could, like, be reclined, kind of like I am now in a lazy boy. But then she said they needed that chair for something else. Then they moved me to their EKG room where I could actually just lay on a bed. She gave me a nice warm blanket. I got all snuggled up. And it was the most tolerable remaining two hours ever. And I like just kind of napped, relaxed, and it ended up being like a positive little experience. Um, so yeah, I ended up not eating until like 2.45 yesterday and that was terrible. So yeah, I was having a, like all those contractions because I was dehydrated because I, ha I couldn't have like drink. I couldn't drink anything, I wasn't eating, I had been in pain, so I was, like, contracting, like, so often or frequently, but I I wasn't worried about it because I knew what to do when I was done and whatever. But, um, I had to wait just until the afternoon to get the results back. Turns out I don't have gestational diabetes. Um... My husband said that he thinks I skewed the results of the screen. The one that said that I had elevated levels. Um, because I wasn't told to fast before the screen. So I didn't. I had an apple. I had a little granola bar. And I had a couple pretzels. <laughs> and apparently, like, I guess I should have fasted. But nobody told me that. Um, they told me not to have anything once I started the hour long screen, but they didn't tell me to fast beforehand. So I didn't, and he thinks I should have. And that's why my results came back that I might have diabetes. So I think I, I skewed the results of that test by not fasting. So my bad. Um, but anyway, uh, that was really good news to not have the diabetes. Um, but next, what I'm going to say now, I'm going to actually get up and get some Tums because uh, I'm dying right now. But, uh, last, then my last little update video where I was, uh, hold on, give me a second. Oh, 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 ow where I said I probably shouldn't be having as much Tums as I'm having because I'm already taking, oh, the Zantac. Um, when I saw my doctor on Tuesday, she said, take as much Tums as you want. It's really hard to become, what's it called, Andrew? Hypercalcemic. Hypercalcemic. It's really hard for a woman to become hypercalcemic or a person. Um, and that's like, when you would put your baby at risk is if you take too many tums that you become hypercalcemic and she pretty much said take as many as you want um you won't become hypercalcemic so and, works a of action. and the zantac works a different mechanism of action so so i'm not like overloading myself by having the tums in the zantac i guess but wow um but that's just fyi um and then, um, last thing in terms of how I've been doing is what I thought was just hip pain, uh, that I was experiencing. Um, I thought like my hip flexors were just tight, uh, but I looked up last night, my symptoms, like pretty much what you just saw there where I stand up and I like moan and grunt and everything. Um, that is... My, my left hip, or like lower back area, pinches and I'll like kind of fall and lose my balance because it's like, oh, ow, <laughs> it really hurts. Um, and I looked all that up and I was suspecting that maybe it was sciatic pain, sciatic nerve pain and piriformis pain. So luckily I had a chiropractor appointment today and I asked him about that and he, 
he pinpointed some trigger points on my hip and lower back area where he kind of confirmed like, yeah, you're having some, I would, I would believe that you're having some sciatic nerve pain and piriformis pain or whatever. So, um, I think now I'm going to have a little bit more success with that. He showed Andrew some things that he can do to help me relieve that pain. Um, I'll have maybe some more success with a chiropractor and my massage therapist now having more of a specific target rather than just saying my hips hurt because it's not really my hips it's my hip my one hip and it's like not even just the hip it's my lower back and I think it's my sciatic nerve and piriformis whatever um but uh that's pretty much it so it makes it really hard to do anything because when I stand up or I sit down or I go upstairs or I get in the car or I get out of the car or whatever like it is so hard like I said it'll pinch and I'll just lose my balance and it just really hurts and I'm like always scared every single time I stand up I just have to brace myself like I could fall this could not be very good but um Hopefully, hopefully we'll get that under control. But that's really the first um, half of my update from this past week. Those are like my symptoms, my, how I have been doing and feeling and what I've been experiencing. On Monday, I'll update you a little bit on the babies. So we don't have any definitive answers yet, but... Uh, the bottom line is we have to go in weekly now to monitor them because of some things that they found on the ultrasound. So yeah, I'll update you more on that on Monday. But um, today I just thought instead of doing some kind of a product review, like I don't feel like it. I just don't. I just wanted to sit in my lazy boy and not do anything and, you know, thought maybe I'd just fill you in on how I've been feeling. So there you have it. But I will be back on Monday with like part two of how I'm, how I've been doing this week. And I won't have any more answers by Monday, but um, I'll have maybe a little bit more energy. I really don't know. Anyway, I will see you back on Monday. Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye.